Welcome to another episode of How It Works with Holger. This episode was hard to name, to find a title. As I'm not selling anything, I hope you give me the shot and watch this episode anyways, because this is about loading HTML information quickly in your Delphi applications and improve the design easily by using modern web technologies because TMS offers a great web browser component. And it's even multi-platform, just as an aside. I have created a VCL application, and the only thing I added is the TMS FNC web browser. That's part of the FNC core components. There is also a pure VCL component that is not part of the FNC framework. The difference between the two is, the FNC component you can use in your VCL, FireMonkey, or even web applications with TMS Web Core. Whereas the VCL component you can only use in the VCL. So this is the advanced web browser. That's the one that you can only use in the VCL application. It's a little bit confusing that it's the TMS Web category. It has nothing to do with TMS Web Core. That is just the category on the tool palette. So I dropped the TMS FNC web browser and named it browser. That's all I did with this component. And I would like to introduce something that is really, really powerful now with Delphi 12, which is multi-line strings. It has become much, much easier to manage e long string data in your application. So I'm going to do it quick and dirty in this application. Obviously, you would create a class that returns this string. I'm going to do it all in the button click event just to show you how it works, how comfortable it is now with Delphi. So the HTML back in the day, what you had to do, you started typing and then if you wanted to have it across multiple lines, your source code stayed readable, you had to do it like this and keep on typing and then the next line. But with Delphi 12, it has become much, much easier. You can simply type three quotation marks and another three quotation marks, semicolon. So this is your multi-line string in here. And it's even indicated with these lines by the code editor. And all we can have to do then is to tell the browser component, load the HTML. And instead of using a file, or embedding a file as a resource into the executable, which was very cumbersome in the past, we can just pass a string. So we pass the LHTML string. And my task of the day is to create a tiny little about myself dialog. Like I want to give credits to who I am, what my contact information is. And usually that has been design wise for me quite a struggle. I won't make any fuss about it. I'm not the best designer. So I used ChatGPT. Yes, I admit I use it from now and then, you know, especially when it comes to HTML, you know, because I'm not a web designer. So I'll show you what I did. So I opened up ChatGPT and I said, create a fake business card with HTML. Obviously, if it were my business card, I would say, hey, this is Holger. My information is this, 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 and this. And then I would say, please create a business card in HTML with this information. So I obviously had to skip this step. I just wanted to create a fake business card. And in the fraction of a second, ChatGPT generated this. This is the business card in HTML. And all I have to do now is, basically I can say here, copy code, go to my Delphi and paste this as is in there. The only thing you have to be aware of is the starting three quotes have to be on the same um, X coordinate or in the, in the same column or whatever you want to call it. So I have to move these up here or I have to move all the other lines, um, three spaces or two spaces to the right. Because where you start your string, that's where the multi-line string starts as well with regards to spaces. So this is now the HTML document. And if I run this, this shows you with a button click how powerful it is to have this browser component and the multi-line strings. Because in 
nearly like this took me two minutes to build if at all i had a good look and i would say this dialogue just with this little effort looks better than quite a lot of them because it doesn't use any graphics i have like a nice um, shadow and, and rectangle and all that kind of stuff so the html that is being generated here is really good and if you're web designer or have a web designer in your company believe or imagine what this opens up to you and maintaining this html inside of your source code has gone has become much much easier because you can separate this out into a separate class and you just copy paste the html i thought there is one more thing i can do to make this video even more impressive or the design even better so i went back to chat gpt and said can you add a couple of symbols to the card basically a tiny little phone symbol and make the the link responsive and then chat gpt said certainly i can do that so i click copy code go back to this and remove the html paste the new variation in there and start and of course i still have the application running that's the mistake here and go again click the button and there you go now i have even tiny little graphics in there icons in here imagine this is a vcl application this is nothing fancy nothing not using any graphic libraries or anything i just inserted an html document loaded in a web browser and the best thing is this approach works because we use the fnc framework this approach works in any kind of application so you can simply say file new multi-device application and let's do the same thing in firemonkey so i do the web browser here is the TEF TMS FNC web browser. Same component, looks exactly the same as you can see. And of course, that I have the button in here is personal choice. I could load the HTML content right when my application starts. Let's do that instead. So I have the browser component. I could pick macOS, Linux, the mobile platforms. Everything would be supported with this FNC component. And with that, double click. I want to do this after the form has been created i say browser and surprise surprise same methods everything the same that's what tms does with the fnc framework it gives us the ability to have the same component in the vcl in firemonkey and in tms web core you don't need to learn different components it's the same thing every framework that's what makes it so beautiful and of course if you still want a vcl application you can do that keep your PCL application, but in addition, you can create a FireMonkey application, but use the same source code. Use the same business logic. It will still compile, and you can also do the same for your user interface because the FNC controls are universal. They're your universal toolbox for all the frameworks. So with the HTML, I'm going to say LHTML, and I'm going to declare this. So I'm going to say LHTML is, and then once again, one, two, three one two three and in here i'm going to paste the html that was still in my clipboard and now i run this windows 32 and i forgot the semicolon that is something i always forget with these multi-line strings i don't know why but uh, obviously it is a statement like any other statement so you have to terminate it with a semicolon so once again we start the application and we see nothing well that is easily explained what happens now is the application initializes the form is being created and when the form is being created the fnc framework creates the web browser component but that is an asynchronous process that means the form on create event is being thrown before your web browser has been initialized so instead of putting this source code here into the form create we have to put this into the event from the browser when it has been initialized right here on initialized right here paste and start and now we have the same result as before after initializing the browser 
the content is being loaded right away. I wanted to show this because you might not realize that these web browsers are being loaded in the background and that's why you have to wait for it to be initialized, kind of like the same thing that you have to do with FNC Maps if you want to use Maps in your application because FNC Maps is based on these same browser controls. So same thing here as with the Maps, you have to wait for the browser control to be initialized. Then you can load the content whatever way we wish. And now with the great string support in Delphi 12, we can do it very, very efficiently and easy like this. Thank you so much for watching this episode of How It Works with Holger. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you have feedback, use the comment function of YouTube to ask your questions, leave your feedback. It's always welcome. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care. See you soon.